Hello, Kev Edwards. Tim Rally here. Uh, today we're going to be trying the Rally School feature with NGP6 uh, and see if it actually works. It should do. I've just done the first section, which is just to drive around the car park and park in the cones, and everything seems to be working okay. Um, so. In this exercise, you will learn how to control the car at moderate speeds on a typical rally stage. You will find that when driving at lower speeds, a rally car doesn't behave all that differently from a normal road car. As long as you use a little caution, you should have no trouble completing the stage without incident. Okay, so anyone who knows RBR will know. Start the car. Throttle carefully up to 50. You can stay in second gear for now. It's probably the best. Just follow the road. Keep your speed to around 50. Okay, we should be able to do that. So... Start the car. Throttle carefully up to 50. You can stay in second gear for now. Just follow the road. Keep your speed to around 50. Okay. So... <laughs> It looks stupid, but if you're... Just follow the road. Keep your speed to around 50. If you're completely new to rally games or Richard Burns rally, then this is actually a really intuitive school to learn how to drive. Um, hopefully it works. We're approaching a tight bend. Okay. Change down to first gear and slow down to 20. That's literally how I drive. Apply throttle way. carefully and speed up to 70. Flying finish. Well done. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Evaluation. It's been come back. Start so the car. Memories. Throttle carefully up to 50. You can stay in second gear for now. Okay. Amazing drive. Lesson. In this exercise, I will teach you how to brake safely and decisively from high speed to a standstill. It is vital that you learn how to brake without losing control of the car. Make sure you avoid locking the wheels. If you brake too hard, you are liable to lock the wheels and lose control of the car. If you notice that while braking, the car begins to slide and you can no longer steer, the wheels are probably locked. If this happens, lighten up on the brakes to regain control. Okay. You must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. This Go. is all Floor very it. good stuff. Break. I mean, it seems basic, but pff. you must be at a hundred when it you really reach the green help. cones. Go. Floor it. Break. Okay. Failed that. Yeah, drive again. Okay. You must be at a hundred so when I don't you reach know the green cones. The Go for it. Break. Just be going there. Okay. There's obviously a lot more speed with the NGP and stuff. You must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. Go, floor it. Is this my target 10 seconds? Is that what I'm going to do? Don't use your brakes. Oh, so we use me brakes. We need to do this again. It is a lot to get to grips with. Okay, so I must have braked. This exercise, too early. you must be at a hundred. When you, you must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. Go, floor it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's possible with the uh, NGP. You must be at a hundred when you. You're pretty good at this. I think oh, you're ready for the that. next exercise. Okay, fair enough. I thought the first take was we weren't allowed to go past it. Okay. Right. In this lesson, you will learn how to take a long series of corners as quickly as possible. You will find oh, that in addition to braking, shifting gears, and accelerating at the proper moment, positioning the car properly before each bend can greatly improve your results. By hugging the inside of the corner, you can use the camber of the road to help pull the car around the bend. 
If you position the car too far to the outside of the corner, you'll be pushed outwards and off the road. We've placed blue cones on this stage to help you find a good racing line. Try to keep the car inside the cones. You can throttle up to about 80 here. Keep to the left side and brake down to 70 before the corner. Follow the cones, hugging the inside of the corner. Throttle up to 100 as you come out of the corner. Keep to the right side of the road and brake down to 80 before the turn. Throttle out of the corner. Okay, good stuff. You can throttle up to about 80 here. Keep to the left side and brake down to 70 before the corner. Follow the cones, hugging the inside of the corner. Throttle up to 100. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you must stay. Let's try again. I say, I think the NGP You can throttle up to about 80 here. Not quicker. Keep to the left side and brake down to 70 before the corner. Follow the cones, hugging the inside of the corner. Throttle up to 100 as you come out of the corner. Keep to the right side of the road and brake down to 80 before the turn. Throttle out of the corner. Okay. Evaluation. You can throttle up to about 80 here. See what we got. Keep the same speed. Keep to the left side and brake down to 70 before the corner. Follow the cones, hugging the inside of the corner. Yeah, throttle up to 100 as you come out of the corner. Keep to the right side of the road and brake down yeah, to 80 before the turn. Throttle out of the yeah, corner. Target. Ooh, nine seconds. That was excellent. Oh, nice can of Red Bull. Uh, you can keep that fucking poison. I'll have a cup of tea instead. Right. Ooh, nice. In this qualification oh, test, you will be on your own. You must complete the stage within the given time without having an accident. Don't be disheartened if you fail, as you have had a lot to learn in a short time. You can go back and review previous lessons until you are comfortable with them. When you complete the trial, you have qualified to begin the advanced rally lessons. To help you, we've placed guidance cones along the stage. If you brake when reaching the red cones, throttle at the green cones and keep within the blue ones, you should soon qualify. Good luck. Okay, I'll start the timer once you get moving. Okay, into the good stuff. Corner, plus sharps, all right, minus narrows of a bridge. Blow it into early. Five left, sharp 50. All right, sharp 80. All right, minus 30. Five left, sharp 30. Five right, minus sharp 80. Left, minus four plus sharp 50. No case into the rest, 40. All right, plus 100. Three left, minus sharps, 100. Black crest, five left, 100. One right, 120. Four right, sharps, 30, stop up. Five left, plus four right, sharp, 40, low. Black four left, sharps, four right, plus. Five left minus sharp, right to slow minus 70. All right. Three left sharp, 30, slow it. Three right minus. Okay, we could have been better. Okay, let's see. I can have used it better again. I'd like to know why it could have been better. I don't know if it was time or what. Um, this next lesson is my favourite. You've shown that you can handle a rally car at some pretty decent speeds. That's good, but there's still a lot to learn. Relax and enjoy the ride as I drive you through the rally school stage my way. 
This will give you a brief glimpse of what I will teach you in the advanced rally lessons. When you can drive like this, you'll be ready to compete professionally in rallying. Well then, Rich. Okay. Four left minus sharp, four right, one hundred. Slow, hit the watch, five left sharp, four right, time to slow, seventy. Five right, far block, forty. Five left plus sharp, one hundred. Four left plus sharp, eighty. Five right minus half block, eighty. Three left sharp, two hundred. Okay, advanced technique is... Uh, I believe we want manual. Welcome to the first advanced rally lesson. In this exercise, you will learn to use the handbrake to lock the rear wheels and force the car to swing around, allowing you to take very tight corners faster than you otherwise could. The lesson consists of two 180 degree turns and two tight 90 degree turns. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 50. Before the corner, turn hard into it and pull the handbrake. For the 90 degree corners, you don't need to turn as violently. This game's about a hundred years old. And it's just... Nothing's beat it. Aim to enter the first hairpin okay. at around 50. Before the corner, turn hard into it and pull the handbrake. Okay, Rich. Degree corners, and you don't need to turn as violently. Not quite as smooth as Richie Boy, but not too bad. What's our evaluation? Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 50. Before the corner, turn hard into it and pull the handbrake. Okay, let us show you. FX, what we want. A lot more slide on the air. For the 90 degree corners, you don't need to turn as violently. On the NGP compared to the vanilla. Still nailed it though. Still nailed it. Time. Ooh, we, oh, didn't it? We takes time to get used to, doesn't it? We'd better do this one more time. Okay. Welcome to the first advanced rally lesson. Aim to enter the first. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around yeah, 50. The light. Before the corner, turn hard into it and pull the handbrake. For the 90 degree corners, you don't need to turn as violently. Okay, that should be enough. 15 seconds. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 50. Before the corner, turn hard into it and pull the handbrake. Hopefully no penalty. For the 90 for degree corners, over. you don't need to turn as violently. Just about. You're pretty good at this. I think you're ready for the next okay. exercise. Okay, what have we got next? The next two exercises will help you to understand how you can cause the car to oversteer and how to use this to your advantage. When you accelerate, the weight of the car moves backwards, giving the rear wheels more traction and the front wheels less, causing the car to understeer. 
When decelerating, the weight of the car moves forward, giving the front wheels more grip and the rear wheels less, causing the car to oversteer. In this exercise, you will be taught how to maintain a very high speed through a fast corner. You will need to use a technique called left foot braking. This means that while your right foot remains on the throttle, you will brake lightly with your left foot, causing the car to oversteer. So for this exercise, you are not allowed to release the throttle pressure more than 50%. The advantage of left foot braking is that the engine maintains its momentum and the turbo keeps its pressure, giving you full power as you exit the corner. Throttle up to around 110. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. No handbrake, apply brake, apply throttle. Okay. Throttle up to around 110. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Oh, what? The proper rally cut we are on about. Throttle up to around 110. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Oh my god. Oh, okay. One more go. Throttle up to around 110. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Right. Evaluation. Throttle up to around 110. Same Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. What? You're really going to have to improve your performance. Oh, shut up, bitch. Okay, so let's try this again. Eagle eyed obvious might have noticed that uh, things have changed. That's because. I have to stop the last record. Use throttle and brake to create And we're just picking it back up now. About three days later. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. So. Throttle up to around. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this trying to record it. Probably it'll be cut. Uh, quite a few attempts will be cut. I'm struggling with the speed. And uh, so that I'm going in too fast, and I'm trying to what I'm trying to get up to 110, which I can do. But then I'm, Keep I'm, up a good speed. Got, I'm too fast into Use the corner. To which is definitely not. Let's see it again. Yeah, because I, I need to slow down. That was a terrible. So much. It wasn't terrible. Kill your beans. The next throttle up to around. So we need to throttle up to around 110. Keep that speed up, 110 across the cones. But it takes so long to build up on keep the MGP6. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. <sighs> Come on, this is tricky. Throttle you can up to see around that, the traction coming off the line. Let's see if we start in second gear. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Yeah, as soon as, you, as soon as I'm on that brake, I lose the speed. I go a dip under to 110, almost straight away. Yeah, but then up to I need to be quite slow in. You maybe have a like Scandinavian flicker or something. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Okay, let's see. Evaluation. Throttle up to around 110. Probably dipped off the speed again. Let's we'll see how the vanilla physics is Use throttle away. and brake to create oversteer. Oh, got the speed. Ah, oh, what? What the... Uh... 
my brakes. You're really gonna have uh, ten. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. Throttle up to around 110. Keep up a good speed. Use throttle and brake to create oversteer. And we got it. Jesus. Yeah, uh, that took some doing. The margins were really tight on that to get it right. Um, Amazing drive. Especially with the different physics. Okay, kind of poison. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, next lesson. Uh, what have we got? This technique here? is similar to left foot braking, but it will not produce as much oversteer. It's suitable for taking faster corners. By letting off the throttle at the correct moment before you turn, the weight of the car moves onto the front wheels, giving them more grip, reducing understeer. Okay. Throttle up to 100. When you reach the red cones, don't apply the brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Once past the green cones, apply throttle again. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Throttle up to 100. When you reach the red cones, no don't apply the brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Oh. Tough, tough, tough. Definitely. Throttle up to 100. It's obviously being designed with vanilla physics. When you reach the red cones, don't apply the brake. Quickly release yeah, the throttle, said. then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Once past the green cones, apply throttle again. Uh, I was on the throttle too early. Um, yeah, that, I was back on the front before we went through the cones. When you reach the red cones, the speed don't apply the okay. brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Once past the green cones, apply throttle again. Okay. Takes time to... Right. This technique is throttle up to 100. So don't throttle have to be to quite as quick going through this as well. When you reach the red cones, don't apply the brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Once past. Ah, man, that must have been close. I'm gonna drive again, yeah. I'm too busy trying to look at the speed. I did not concentrate on what I'm doing. When you reach the red cones, don't apply the brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Once past the green cones, apply throttle again. Yeah. I think we were just over the hundred. Throttle up to one hundred. When you reach the red cones, don't apply the brake. Quickly release the throttle, then start turning. Lift off the throttle. Once past the green cones, apply throttle again. Brilliant. That was excellent. Okay. The power slide is the fastest Ooh. way to drive through a loose surface corner. Initiate the power slide by lifting off the throttle as you turn in. Use the throttle and steering to maintain the slide through the corner. To exit the slide and regain grip, simply ease off the throttle. When reaching the exit of the corner, the car should be aimed straight ahead, ensuring maximum speed. Okay. Accelerate to about 60 in second gear. When you reach the blue cones, second initiate gear. the power slide. Don't Use the man. throttle and steering to brake. continue the slide through the corner. It's just all throttle control. Right. Accelerate to about 60 in second bad, gear. When you reach the blue cones, initiate the power slide. Use the throttle and steering to continue the slide through the corner. Lovely. Lovely. That's what we want. Hopefully there's no time limit. Accelerate to about 60 in second gear. Is. When you reach the blue cones, initiate the power slide. Use the throttle and steering the only thing to continue that might get the slide through the corner. Hello, uh... 
Now we're sort of losing Richard there. Oh, just. <laughs> you're pretty good at this. I think you're ready for the next exercise. Thanks, Dickie. Until yeah. now, all your exercises have taken place on gravel surfaces. Now we'll go through a couple of tarmac lessons. In this exercise, you should just acquaint yourself with how the car handles when it's tuned for tarmac. Try to drive inside the cones. This is not a test, so feel free to try accelerating, braking and using the handbrake. You will notice that you have much better grip and that you slide less. When you've had enough, feel free to drive for as long as you want. Okay. Park the car in the yellow square when you're ready for the next lesson. So it'll be interesting to see if the tarmac physics are slippy yet or if there's like a similar amount of grip. Hey, you drive like a natural. <laughs> um, righty ho. Lesson is the same as the gravel brake test, except the surface is tarmac. You will find you have more stopping power and shorter braking distances. Make sure you avoid locking the wheels. If you brake too hard, you are liable to lock the wheels and lose control of the car. Okay. Go, floor it. You must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. Break! Okay. Breaking will be interesting as well. Go! Floor it! You must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. Break! Ooh. Okay. That wasn't Go, very floor it! I'd you must be at a hundred when you reach the green cones. Oh, <laughs> just look at the tape. <laughs> oh my word! Uh, I reckon that's probably a fail. But you're pretty good at this. I think you're ready for the next exercise. <laughs> uh, okay. In a lesson similar to the gravel handbrake turn, you will notice that you can apply more throttle to get out of the turn faster. Okay. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 60. Before the corner, turn hard into it and give the handbrake a quick pull. You really need to get the feel for this technique to make it work for you. Okay, play handbrake, play handbrake. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 60. Before the corner, turn hard into it and give the handbrake a quick pull. You really need to get the feel for this technique to make it work for you. A fail on the corner with the fourth. Yeah, let's see. Aim to enter the first hairpin at around 60. Before the corner, turn hard into it and give the handbrake a quick pull. You really need to get the feel for this technique to make it work for you. Still got it. Still got it. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. This exercise you will experience driving with very soft suspension settings. With this soft suspension your car will have more grip but feel less responsive. Soft suspension helps the wheels maintain contact with the road surface. Drive around the course staying within the cones. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be doing anything here or... Suspension feels amazing. So much detail in it. Well done. Okay. Uh, so we did have a qualification time of 40 seconds, we've done it in 36. Okay. In this exercise, you will experience driving with very stiff suspension settings. With stiff suspension, your car will feel more responsive, but will generally have less grip. Yeah. Drive around the course, staying within the cones.
I think you're ready for the next exercise. That was interesting. Scandinavian flick is used for taking yeah. sharp corners at high speed. In this exercise, flicks. you must first turn the car in the opposite direction to the corner, and then back into the corner itself, thus using a pendulum effect to help turn the car. Timing and positioning are crucial. This technique is used especially when the surface is very slippery. It gives you confidence that the front end of the car will grip. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Accelerate to about 80. When reaching the blue cones, initiate the flick. Left, take it right. No handbrake as well. Okay. Accelerate to about 80. When reaching the blue cones, initiate the flick. I feel like it was round enough then. It didn't feel like I quite got the angle I needed. Needed more of a flick on it, but accelerate to about I eighty. Past it. When reaching the blue cones, the speed, it's it's okay. Okay. wasn't too bad actually. Right. You're pretty good at this. I think you're ready for the next exercise. Bit of a stage this. In this, the your final one. rally school yep. test. You must prove that you can use all the techniques I've taught you and put them to good use on the stage. To help you, Robert Reed will ride with you as your co-driver. Good luck. Okay, will it be Robert Reed or will it be... Piggy Mark? I'll just know this. Call it! Alright, minus 50. Narrows of a bridge. Low it into left hand survive button. Four right tightens, 80. Four right sharp, 40. Five left sharp, 100. Four left blood sharp, splot, 80. Four right sharp, 80. Three left, 100. That's it, you get a penalty there. Oh shit. Number quick and five left, one hundred. One right, one hundred. All right, half long. Five left, all right. Slow in. Four left. All right, half long. Five left, sharp, nice to minus eighty. Okay, let's start that again. That's obviously screwed up. In this, your final rally. Okay. Four left. Four right fifty. Narrows of a bridge. Slow it. Need to watch five left. Four right tight to slow minus eighty. Four right, sharp, sturdy. Five left, minus 100. Four left, half long, 70. Four right, minus 80. Three left, 100. Ooh. I was forget how tight that corner is. So fast before there. Black crest, and five left, 100. Big stop up, one right, one hundred. Four right, minus sharp, half long. Five left, minus sharp, four right, minus sharp, slow it. Four left, plus sharps, four right, half long. Five left, minus sharp, tight to slow, minus seventy. Four right, sharp. Left minus is three minus forty. Slow in. Flat three right. Ooh. That was a terrible drive. <laughs> okay. Time. Not too sure what the time limit is. What we have to do with it. 
ไปเบลแล้วไปโมสตรีนแต่แฟนกำชาหนักหามาแล้วแล้วไปซื้อโมเอาไปเอ็มเพรสเอาไปเอ็มเพรสเอาไปเอ็มเพรสเว่าไอ้อ๋ออ่าพัฒนาไม่ถึงเซอร์เซนส์ว่าซะ60 70 80 124โอเคจะฟังว่าว่าตัดสเปนมีบุตรเบนโอเคอันนั้นมาสุดเ
sharp 50. Narrows on a bridge. Slow into five left sharp. Four right sharp spikes to slow minus 80. Four right 30. Five left sharp 100. Four left minus block 80. Four right plus 70. Flat three left sharp 100. Flat rest late. Five left minus 100. Stop up one right 100. Four right minus sharp half long. Five left. Four right sharp. Blow in. Flat four left sharp. Four right minus sharp long. Five left eight to minus 80. Four right minus sharp. Three left 40. Blow in. Three right sharp. Oh my god, that was filthy. <sighs> filthy dirty cuts just to get that. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay, so. To answer the question Can you complete the Richard Burns Rally School with NGP6 physics? And the answer is yes, you can, but you just gotta be a little bit filthy. Okay, uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, see you on the next one.